Hey guys, it's Janine here, and in today's video, we are going to be learning how to normalize a vector in three dimensions. So we have a vector here, v, and its components are x, y, and z here. And then we have the unit vector, which is the normalized vector, is given by the original vector divided by its magnitude, where the magnitude is found by the following formula. So all we're doing is we're taking the squares of each of the components of our vector and adding them up and then taking the square root of that. And all a normalized vector is, is a vector in the same direction as the original vector, but it just has a magnitude of 1. And so let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. So in this example here, we have a vector a, and its components are 1, 2, and 3. So let's start off by finding its magnitude. So the magnitude of a is the square root of 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. And simplifying this, we get 1 plus 4 plus 9. So this gives us the square root of 14. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is plug in our vector and its magnitude into this formula here. So we get that the unit vector of a is equal to 1, 2, 3 divided by the square root of 14. And let's go ahead and rewrite this as follows. So 1 over the square root of 14, 2 over the square root of 14, and 3 over the square root of 14. And that is our final answer. And so let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. This next example here, we have the vector 2, 3, 5. And so let's start off by taking its magnitude. So again, we're taking the squares of each of the components and adding them up. So we have 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared. And simplifying this, we get 4 plus 9 plus 25. And then simplifying this further, we get the square root of 38. So let's go ahead and plug in our vector and its magnitude into our formula here. So we are going to get the unit vector v is equal to... 2, 3, 5 divided by the square root of 38. And we can rewrite this as follows. So 2 over the square root of 38, 3 over the square root of 38, and 5 over the square root of 38. And that is our final answer. And so that is how you normalize a vector in three dimensions. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any suggestions on what types of videos you guys want me to do next, just leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.